You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, I'm going to do my review for the first season of Arrow. It was good. Arrow season one definitely proved one thing about DC characters, and that is that they can be very much relevant, even the ones that are not as significant in the eyes of some fans as Batman and Superman, this being Green Arrow. For the first season of Arrow, I was immediately engaged from the moment that he launched his arrow into the beacon when he was on the island to the moment that he said goodbye to his best friend Tommy in the season finale. Between all that, we had a roller coaster of emotions, betrayal, and a lot of going back and forth. One person's a hero one week, one person's a villain the next week, everyone's confused, love triangles, and the lot. For me, one of the biggest highlights of the show was Oliver facing off against Malcolm Merlin, or known on the show as the Dark Archer. The thing of it is, is that many times when we look at superhero movies and superhero shows, we always get villains that don't have a lot of substance, don't have great development. However, Malcolm Merlin was developed from day one and turned out to be one of the best villains on a TV series, be it superhero or not, he was fabulous. And seeing that final showdown at the end of the season was just great, to the point that Oliver had to stab himself through his chest just to get at Malcolm. A fantastic sequence and definitely a highlight for me because I love villains, as many of you know. Now, the characters for the first season of Arrow were fantastic. And while John Diggle is my personal favorite character so far, I actually got to give props to Tommy Merlin, that character, simply because, in my opinion, during this first season, he went through the most progression and the biggest evolution of all time. I mean, you're talking about a guy who started off the show as a rich boy living off his daddy, not a, re not a responsibility in the world. And later on, as he progresses through the show, he develops a relationship with Laurel, he gets his own job, and finally sacrifices himself to become a hero. And at the same time, having such an effect on his best friend that his best friend changes his whole MO when he does his superhero thing. To me, that was just fantastic. And speaking of the whole superhero thing, Let's not forget the addition of John Diggle and Felicity Smoke onto the team for Oliver throughout the season's progression. John Diggle not only presented a nice kind of partner in crime to help uh, Oliver do his thing at night, but he also established a sense of guidance and advice for Oliver when he needed it, even when Oliver didn't want to hear it. Add in Felicity Smoke into the mix, and here's a tech-savvy lady with lots of skills that really puts Oliver Queen's operation over the hump. Now surrounding Oliver's personal life, we have his stepfather, Walter, his mother, Moira, sister, Thea, of course, his best friend, Tommy, who we already spoke about, and Laurel, the lady that he's, you know, not with, and then he's kind of with, then he's not with again. It's a very confusing situation, but you'll get it if you've seen the season. Now, Laurel presented a lot of good conflict on the show, not only because she dated Tommy, who at, at one point looked like that was an okay thing, but turned out to be a problem towards the end. But also let's take into account her father who blames Oliver Queen for the death of his youngest daughter, who yes, Oliver was on a boat with while dating Laurel. Our hero did not always make the best decisions. Anyway, Detective Lance's convictions lands him very close to finding out Oliver Queen's secret, which for him would have been a great deal. However, Reluctantly, later on into the season, Detective Lance actually works with Green Arrow, which makes for a very conflicting team up, but at the same time ended up garnering excellent results. Overall, the first season was fantastic. There were so many things going on. There were so many, so many emotional buttons that were pushed in the right direction. And furthermore, let's not even, do I even have to mention the action sequences? And even some of the CGI was very well done. The gentleman who plays Oliver Queen, Steve Amell, is excellent at what he does. And a lot of you confirmed to me that he actually does a lot of his own workouts. So that's just amazing in and of itself. So with that said, I want to thank a lot of you for recommending this show. I know many of you have wanted me to review this and check it out for the longest time. I finally have. I am now eight episodes into season two. So it's only a matter of time before I get caught up with season three and it will be officially part of my review package here on ETN. 
So I want to thank you guys once again, and I will be doing a season two review in the next coming days. Anyway, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.